say such a thing? Iberichi, you don't understand. Did you hear them at all? I did. They said that earlier today, Asuka climbed the pear tree to pluck pears and got stung by angry whaps. He accidentally the stop. Then he fell from the tree and sustained injuries. That made it impossible not to be here to commence your bridal rights. Iberichi. Tell me. What's, what's so bad that you're here vowing to me that you will never marry him again? Listen, everything about it is bad. It's a very bad sign. In fact, it's a bad omen. If the bride or the groom is involved in any sort of accident on a day like this, according to our traditions and custom, listen, my sister, for this, I will never marry Azuka again. This marriage will not hold. It's your hey. Here you are, my pretty angel. You see, Akunaya? My daughter, everything is set. Your father sent me to bring you to perform the acceptance wine rite. Eh? Mother, who am I going to hand the wine over to? Is my husband to be there? Is he there? Of course, my dear. His people explained why he is not here. And uh, Ojindu, his uncle, is here to represent him. Our custom allows that. And that won't work for me. Not in my marriage, mother. Tell them that I won't be part of anything they are doing here today if Azoka is not present. Pa! Are you out of your mind? Oh, you want to disgrace this family, eh? Come on, will you follow me? It's all right. If you force me to come with you, I will. But I will still throw the wine on the floor when father gives it to me. What? And you know what that means? in our culture and tradition that marks the end of this marriage. Ibirichi, mother, please. I've been talking to her for almost half an hour now, but she wouldn't listen. Ibirichi, I'm... Ibirichi. Nai, I want to talk to you privately, please. Privately? It's urgent. <laughs> Nai, she refused to come. She even threatened to pour away the wine. Please, I'll join you soon. Do survive. Isiako, Isiako, please. Isiako, please just listen to them. Hmm? Oh, God of our land. Isiako. Is... Everybody, get up, get up, get up. I said get up. He said, look at me. Is it true what your mother just told me? Yes, father. Even the threat to throw away the wine if you are forced. I, I, father, I will never marry Azoka unless... It's okay. I will not force you. Nay. Yes. The Igbo man does not force his daughter into marriage. Not just as a matter of principle, but because... It is forbidden in our customs and traditions. Father, are you serious? Oh, yes. But before I leave here now, let me give you a vital piece of information. Three days ago, as you girls were returning with your mother from the, from the farm, you saw a young man with two elderly men leaving our house. Yes. Didn't you? Yes, I did. The young man came here to seek for a marriage's hand in marriage. And your sister has accepted. Oh yes. In three days' time, they will be here to perform the marriage rites. Uh, uh, um, is that true? Yes. yes. Now, in the customs and tradition of whom we're in the community, if there are two or more medians in a family, all must marry in their order of seniority. And if for any reason the younger one happens to marry before the older ones, 
the older one automatically becomes a taboo in her father's house and must take up temporary residency in her grandparents' home until she gets married herself. Your mother was an only child, as you already know. And your maternal grandparents were long dead. Their house became so dilapidated that their neighbors had to demolish it seven years ago. Also, the disagreement your mother had with your uncles over the disposal of your grandparents' properties. They don't even care if you are alive. Now, if you stick to your gun here, yeah, I will just go and tell Asoka's people to forget about the marriage plan. But before doing that, let me inform you that if your sister gets married before you, you will become a vagabond. Is that what you want? Is that? No cause for alarm. Yes. Part of the things my daughter went to wear to appear before you was locked up in a box inside the house. Okay. So I went in to give them the keys. So uh, very soon they will check. All right. That's the guy who went. Oh, 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 Father, I call you here to inform you that the Beretti's husband and his people will be coming here in four days time to conclude our marriage price. Why? Father, why the urgency? Her bride price was just paid three days ago. I've accepted to marry Azoka. Why not mine first? My dear, in a matter like this, the groom has the final say. Myself, as far as the bride, I cannot say anything. Mother. Wise one, the last time we came here, you said we should give you good five days. This is the sixth day, and nothing we've said nor done could make him change his mind. Not even the suicide threat from his son could make him change his mind. Please help us. Wise one, these few days had been a trying one for me. That seizure in all. Only the gods know why my fiancé has not caught me in any. I, 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 these days I spend almost all my days indoors. Please, I beg you, help me. I don't want to be disgraced publicly by this epilepsy and my marriage to Isiak ruined as a result. I love her so much. I don't want to die. There is nothing you can do. Nothing we can do to change Ibudu's mind. I just returned from a meeting I have with him in the spiritual realm before you arrived. Oh my please, he fell on deaf ears. He has made up his mind to accept the worst rather than help out in the case. Oh, because of my ancestors, help me. Help me and I swear never to rape again. I will never rape again. Wise one, please, 
help me in this situation. I promise and I swear here that I will help. In fact, I will take care of uh, Uzuma's children until they grow into adulthood. Please, I beg you, just give me a way out. I pray you. Yes, wise one. There must be a way out. Please help us. Help me. I don't want to lose my only son. Please. The only way out is to kill him so that another can take over his post and cage Uzuma's spirit for you. Wise one. Kill a priest to a powerful deity like Ibudu. What kind of a human being can possibly do this? Only the one that will succeed him can do it. And who is that? Achike. Oh yeah? Achike? No, Achike cannot do a thing like that. Achike that I know cannot take away a strand of hair from his father's body, let alone killing his father. Achiki cannot do a thing like that. Um, but then find a way to force him. Else, my hands are off your case from this moment. Uh, wise one, please. Please help us. I am true with you. Out. Out! You must be out of your mind, Azoka. How could you? How could you tell me to kill my own father? Ask me to kill my own father for you? It is you and I, Achike, that our lives have been threatened by an angry ghost. Yes, an angry ghost! Huh? Azoka, you are not serious. Yes, you are not serious. In fact, if it is why you called me to this place, I am out of this place. Azuka! 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 Give me, bring, bring me my necklace, oh! Azuka! 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 Message me, bring my Azuka! What is your mission? Wise one. Wise one. My manhood. My manhood. Oh, my manhood, wise one. My manhood. Uzuma took your manhood. Mm. 
And you are here. Mm. Am I your zoom now? Mm. No. Well, please help me. Help me. My father even refused to listen to me when I ran to him for help. Hmm? Please. Hmm? I, can't, I can't face this disgrace. I can't. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big disgrace, Nani. Now you not told that only you can serve the situation yourself. If your father refuses, do all the necessary to recover your manhood. My hands are washed off your case already. And for your information, you have 10 days remaining. 10 days before Uzuma returns to kill you and Azuka. Kill your father, else you die. <laughs> Leave now! <laughs> Leave! Mother, I don't understand the kind of life one is living. You cannot have peace of mind even for one hour and kitty. You can't. But you huh? cost it yourself. Somebody will attract a problem and some other person will solve the problem. Why is this one different? Eh? Azum! Ah! Isiak! Isiak, my love! <laughs> eh. Okay! What is it? Oh! Greetings, mother. Miss Yaku, how are you? I'm fine, mother. I'm here to see my husband. Um, uh, come with me to the kitchen. Um, mother, that should be when I'm done. I need to see him and discuss something very important with him. Well, I'm sorry you can't see him. Why? I just heard him call me. I know. I'll, I will explain everything to you later. Mother, are you seeing clearly? Do you still know the person you're talking to? The person standing before you is Azoka's wife. And I said I need to see him now. Isiako, I am neither blind nor deaf. I know you. But I have told you that you cannot see him now. Period. Azum! Oh, mother. Azum! Azum, I need to see you now. Mother is blocking my way. Beg in the name of the gods. I need to see you now and discuss something very important with you. And mother is blocking my way. Isiako, are you disobeying me or something? Not at all, mother, but I need to see you. Is it true that your younger sister's wedding is coming up this weekend? Correct me if I'm wrong. You have come to appeal to my son, Azoka. So that he can fix your wedding on or before that time to avoid you being forced out of your father's house. Well, I take your silence to mean that I'm right. If that is why you're here, just get out of my compound or I will delay your own wedding till next year. Mother, did you just say that? I did. You heard me correctly. You heard me very well, Isiako. Live in peace. Or you will be forced to live with your wicked maternal uncles for another year. How do you choose? Open this door. 
I thought she has been in this house. Where is she coming back from? That I never knew where she left for the place. Uh, Nanya, I don't know. I learned from a that uh, uh, she's not in the house. And she refused to tell her where she was going to. And she came back, locked herself inside? Isiaku, open this door now! You see, okay, you're talking to your father. Where are your manners? Gone to the cost lab of Miss Bochard's mother. My manners and my honor as a woman have been stolen by this girl's mother. Yes, I am nothing but a walking dead. A walking bad dog. Isiako, I am going for my embezzle. And if I come back and stay beneath this door, Lord, it's only to work here, that, 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 that will save, 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 save the day. Isiaku, Isiaku, please open the door. No! Isiaku, Isiaku! No! No! No, just let me be. Let me be! Allow me to wallow in pain. Let me be! I will not open the door. I will not open the door. Please take it easy. Now take it easy so that you won't injure her. yourself. <coughs> you cursed beast. Find it or you will die disgracefully. I know. I know. So where is it? Use the same weapon you used to kill your father to force the answer to that question out of my mouth. You cursed beast. Go ahead. You cost me. Oh, <laughs> 
Now, talk now. Azuka, we are finished. How? Uh, did your father escape? No, Azuka. I killed him as we planned. <laughs> yes. But there's a problem. problem. What is the problem? Azuka. You said that is a problem. What is the problem? Azuka. Without the Akadiki. His official symbol of authority. I cannot take over from him as the chief priest of Ruruala. And nobody else can. And he refused to tell me where it was before he died. Hey! Azuka. I've searched everywhere. Searched every corner. I cannot find it. Hey! But why did you kill him before? Hey! 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 That means I'm going to die. That means Uzuma's ghost is going to kill me by the time it returns. Hey! Okay. Calm down. Oh, okay. I should calm down. Azuka, calm down. I should calm. Let's let's. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I I I'm calm. I'm calm now. Eh? I, at least I know that I I I am going to die by the time Uzuma's ghost returns. I will die calmly. But I am going to die. But that will be. Oh, 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 Azuka, come to me. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Azuka! Azuka! Put this all together! Stop this, Azuka! Stop it! Stop it! Do you think I'm enjoying this, Azuka? I just murdered my own father in cold blood just to save the both of us! yourself together. Let us go back to me and find out where the Akadiki is before it becomes too late. Stop this! That's why give me the knife. Give me! Give me, give, 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 give me the knife! Let's go before it's too late. Let's go. Azuka! Neither me nor any other Dibia can help you, no matter how powerful. Unless you first find and possess the Akadike, whoever that tries to help you shall be instantly struck to death by the gods. The warning has already gone round the spirit world. Uh, 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 how can that be, wise one? Mm. Ozoma spirit is. Ozoma spirit will never spare the both of you. Unless Achike find the Akadike and get installed as the next chief prince of Oruruala. And in that capacity, cages her angry spirits himself. Uh, 
<coughs> Wise one. That is why we're here. Where can I find it? I mean, the Akadiki. Please, please, stay out, please, please, no, please, please stay out, please. <sighs> Young men, Urala and the spirit of our murdered priest are indeed angry. And for my own safety, I will speak no more on this issue. And no Dibia will do for the same reason. And should any of you approach any Dibia or any deity for the same issue, both of you will be struck dead by Urala that moment. I am going to die. We are going to die very soon. Very, very soon we are going to die. How? I mean, what happened? How did it go? Bad. Very bad. Very bad. How? You mean that Chike refused to do it after your threats? He, he decided to talk to the, the, the elders instead of doing what he said he should do. Asuka, talk to me now, eh? Asuka, talk to me now. Asuka! Asuka! Two hours now, father left to look for Isiako in the forest behind the house. I just hope they are okay. Or should we inform the villagers about this current situation? No, no, your, your father warned against such action unless he comes back without Isiako. He did? Yes. God, gods of our land. Who could have made Isiako behave the way she did today? Could it be Asuka has come to some kind of harm? May the gods forbid, not my own in-law. Father, <sighs> what happened? Abomination, Nkem. The worst form of abomination has happened in the like community. Nay, what happened? Did this Yaku harm herself? It's not about this Yaku. As a matter of fact, I didn't see her. Hi. Then talk to us. What happened? Shh. I found the chief priest of Uruwala murdered in good blood in the forest. <laughs> Father, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mother, I'm so, so sorry. Please. Wait, 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 wait. Get up, get up, get up. Thank you, Father. Uh, Isiako, did you go to Badger Forest today? Yes. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. I didn't. When I left here, I went to Idigo community to apologize to Azoka over some bad behavior I put up when we had disagreement. I'm sorry I didn't take your permission before leaving, just that I... I understand. I understand you are very sad about the fact that you'll be leaving this house in a few days' time.
Foul of Oruala. Ashike, go and release him. Immediately release him. Vindicated you for allowing you and the fowl that was hung around your neck to be alive from yesterday till this morning. That means you did not tell us lies when you said you had no hands in the death of the chief priest of Oruala. You may go now. Chiadaka. How? Are you. Do you want to let him go? But who, who killed my father? And how did they kill my father? We have done what the custom and tradition allow us to do in a situation like this. Awaka survived the night in this compound with the spirit of your dead father and that of our. Angry gods and ancestors. This shows that he is really innocent. He did not kill the chief priest of Orala. That means he did not kill your father, Ibudu, as we suspected. Exposing and punishing whoever that did that now lie in the hands of our gods. Now be the next to take over from your father. The ball is now in your court. But without the Akadike of Oruruala, there is nothing I can do in that regard. That is why I said the ball is now in your court. Take up the foul.
from this moment on. You are a total stranger in this compound. If you step into it without the Akadike of Urala, you shall die. If the fowl in your hand dies before the Akadike is found, you shall also die. But the gods forbid. You all know I'm the only son of my father. According to the customs and tradition, they will not bury my father in my absence. And he shall remain here until the Akadike is found. But that is unfair. In the open like this, what if it decomposes before? Nothing will happen to the corpse, even in a thousand years' time. Your father's corpse is in the custody of the gods, but his spirit will know no peace until he's properly buried. This is unfair, Elders. Yeah? This is so unfair. Why don't we just consult the oracle? No oracle anywhere in the world will speak on this issue. Lest I forget, as soon as you leave this compound, you are forbidden, for whatever reason, to leave Umweli. Otherwise, you shall die. If you are still in this compound, by the time we bring down our hands, the gods will strike you dead. Gods of our land, I can't believe I sat back and allowed the youths of Umweli drag my own father out of this compound yesterday, accusing him of murdering the chief priest of Urala. Despite what I knew about the mother, I said nothing. What if he has come to some kind of harm? If Achike could kill his own father, what wouldn't he do to cover up his track? What if he has had my father and mother too? to make it look like it was him who actually killed his father. How can I ever forgive myself if that happens? Can the reason for my wicked silence, even if I succeed in the end, ever justify my own father's death? He's innocent and I know it. Yet, I chose to... Father! Achike! 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 Father! Please! Please! Father. Why did you do it? Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Please! Please! But you killed me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. Uh, please, just show me where the Akaniki is. Yes, I swear. I swear. I, I won't.
I'm so happy. Yes. You're welcome to my home. Your home. This is our matrimonial bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Obim. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Thanks for making me proud of you. By doing what the king's men demanded. I'm so happy. You ought to be my dear. Today is your day. Our day. In fact, I am the I am happy. I'm the happiest person. You happy. <laughs> but you didn't dance very well doing the bridal dance in my compound. Your father's compound. Now my compound is yours. I'm talking about dancing. I've never been a good dancer all my life. But later tonight, we will see who dances bedroom dance better. Oh, better still, let's start. Um, no, 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 stop. Stop it. You're making me scared. How? Well... I've never done it before. <laughs> it's okay, my love. I won't hurt you. You're my wife. Rather, I will make it a day to remember with smiles for you. It's okay. That one is over. Let's go out and attend to the maidens that came back with us, okay? It's okay, man. Oh, 
Hanya melilah pada nasansa Hanya melilah pada nasansa Aku akan semula jangnya Hajanya mutalalak Di mana iba mabika Di mana iba mabika Di mana iba mabika Di mana Aku awal I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please, just show me where my candy is. There it is. If it's only this one, save my life and that of Azoka. What am I doing here talking to Marco? It's okay, think, think, think. Yeah. I must have missed it in a haste the last time. Yes, I did. And I will find it. Wherever it is in this forest, I will find it. I can't take what is happening anymore. I can't. I can't. Huh? I must find this Akadiki wherever it is in this forest. I must. I must. Chike. You! But you're supposed to be at your maternal uncle's house. What are you doing in the forest close to your father's house? Don't tell me you and your family have been desecrating our land by allowing you to... Achike, my family is not like you. Uh, meaning what exactly? I heard everything. I followed you all the way from your house. What? Yes. You mean you heard everything I was saying here? Of course. I was there when you did it. You were there when I did what? When you killed your own father. I heard all you said about the Akadike. Do it! And you can never find the Akadike. I am with the Akadike. I took it that day you killed your father. And no one knows where he did. Hi, Mama. Be good. Please. Please forgive me. Forgive me for trying to hurt you. Save me. Hmm? Save me and Azuka, your husband, by releasing the Akadiki to me immediately. Oh, please, please. Keep quiet, you liar. You want to blackmail my husband, right? Blackmail won't bring you out from this fix you're into. I Just come off it. I'm not blackmailing you. Yes, Azuka, your husband is deeply into this. We, we went ahead and raped her several times over. And when we were done, we killed her and buried her in the forest to prevent her from exposing us. Gods of our land, you did what? Our people were told that Uzuma abandoned her children and followed a different man to a distant land. Yes. Yes. I and Azuka started the rumor. And we helped spread it. This is to prevent is anybody from conducting a serious search for her. Gods of our land. How could you? How could you be so mean? How could you be so heartless? Come, come, come. Don't tell me you and Azuka are the hooded men who had been abducting and raping young girls for the past seven years in this land. Your father was the Ezemo. 
How come he didn't tell our people? Or Orala didn't reveal all that to him? I'm his only son. How would have executed me had he spoken? The times are indeed evil. So tell me, why did you kill your own father? Ozuma, her ghosts have been on rampage of recent. She wanted Azoka and I to report ourselves to the elders. We refused because doing that would have meant instant death for the both of us. Because of that, she attacked Azoka on the eve of the day they were supposed to come to your compound and commence your marital rights. I struck him with, with epilepsy. Azoka! Epileptic! This is unbelievable. Hold on. Was that the reason he didn't come to my house on that day? Edibia. Edibia told him and his mother that if he ventures into your compound on that day, he will have seizure during the proceedings. The worst is that Zuma threatened that the next time she returns, she's going to kill the both of us. According to Edibia, the only person that can cage Zuma and her angry spirit it's me. That I can do if I am fully installed as the chief priest of Uruala. And the chief priest of Uruala cannot become without the Akadike. Time is fast running out on us. Please, give me the Akadike. Save me and your husband Azoka. Please. of our land. has reported everything to the elders. The youths must be on their way here, on the orders of the elders, to arrest me. I will not. They will not get me alive. I found this rope in a nearby house I broke into. I will not. I will not allow my fellow human to humiliate me and then kill me. No. Not after what I went through. Not after what I've been through. The tortures I already went through in the hands of the gods. No. no. They will not get me alive. They will not. Osuma. You have won. Osuma! You have won! Congratulations! 
Congrats! Congratulations. You have won. Zuba, you have won. Achige. Achige. Ogin. They will never get me alive. Yes. If you want to escape, go alone. I am not going anywhere. Look, I, I... I did not run away. No one is chasing me. No one is pursuing me. Then your wife is yet to get to the elders of Idigo, your own community. Isiaku knows everything. <laughs> she sorry killed my own father. She has Yakadiki. I begged her to to, 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 to... to get it so that you can save our lives. But she ignored it and ran away. She, she didn't go to the elders as you thought. She ran straight to my house. That's not possible. No. Isiaku knows everything. I told her everything. She knows you are epileptic. <sighs> yes. When she came to my house, she saw me having seizure. I, 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 my mother and I, we begged her. We cried to her to have a deal with her. A deal? Yes, a deal. Don't do it. Let's discuss it. How did it go? Fine. I got two train tickets for both of us. We'll be leaving for Enugu in two days' time. Wow! That's so nice. So you mean me, Ibirichi, will go to Enugu to start living with city people? Ebim, you're not only going to Enugu to live with city people. You're going to live with me forever as your husband. That is number one. <laughs> well, you know, even in my innermost heart, you are and will always be my number one. <sighs> and you are indeed my number one. <laughs> <laughs> So, is my food ready? Mm-hmm. Just give me a few minutes. I'll dish it now. A few minutes. Okay. <laughs>
Nke. Opi. Where is the food? Na bi a chido bele biko. Na pata kam. Opi. My wife. Um, let me get you water to wash hands. It's okay. My soup? Rabbit meat. Obim! Rabbit meat. I'm innocent. Please believe me. Please, I beg you, I'm innocent. Just please. Uh, 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 what is this, Inanna? We asked you to help her pack out her belongings. Since, according to our tradition, she cannot enter that house for the rest of her life. Where are the things? My elders, we have worse abomination in our hands. She did not accidentally buy rabbit meat from the legal market. As ever the things, she killed the sacred rabbit. What? What? No. You're lying. My heart is, is lying. I swear. I did no such thing. Please believe me. I did not do it. Shut up! Shut up, bitch! How do you mean? I opened her box to pack her clothes for her. Right inside it, I saw a dead rabbit. Dead rabbit. Wakwe, give me your hand. Awaka, give me your daughter's hand. No, I'm innocent. I did not do it. Dear Mama, do you think I will do something that will separate us forever? You know I love you with my soul. Please, I beg you to believe me. Are you asking me that? Yes. Wakwe, look at me. Just look at me. Can't you see innocent bodily written in my eyes? Can't you? Do you think I would do such a thing? Father, you're my father. You know me very well. You know me, elders of Umele. Please believe me. Please. Wakwe, oh. do it. Wakwe, please don't. Please don't do it, I beg you. Before your father and the elders of Umele, I cut off the link with you. Beverage. Having separated yourself from from our people by killing the symbol of our brotherhood, 
I cut off anything I, I have with you. Please, please don't, please! <laughs> When Ele, the great founder of our community, left his land of birth with his sons and wife to find a settlement for himself, they encountered many dangerous elements on their way. It was you, Prince of Untalapu, which appeared before him in form of a rabbit that led the way, and our great ancestors followed. They trusted you, and you never disappointed them. Several months into their sojourn, they arrived this environment. And at the very spot, the rabbit got the niche. Took up a residence, signaling them that this was the place you chose for them to occupy forever. In appreciation, allow his sons slaughtered seven fowls. The sacrifice they made that day, which we, the descendants, replicated yearly, became the essence of our brotherhood. From that day on, the rabbit, in line with the instruction he gave to them, became the sacred symbol of our brotherhood. We are forbidden from eating rabbit meat. Whoever does will be separated from the rest of us for seven years. And whoever in our midst that kills a rabbit, you told our ancestors, must be separated from the rest of us forever. And only the new male will have anything to do with such a person, or the person becomes a taboo too. The culprit shall not drink water from our land, neither shall she eat anything produced or cooked in our land. This must be her lot till the day she dies. And if for any reason the culprit leaves Umele, he or she will never return. Or whoever she makes contact with on stepping on her soil dies instantly, having broken the seal of our common brotherhood by killing a rabbit. We are here before you, with the Bereti, the evil woman who has broken this norm. Release to me! The part of separation in Talapu that we may once and for all crown her a contagious taboo in Umwele. Talapu! 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 When I can't talk about my mother, she and your co, I can't come back to work again. Eh? We want to be wago. Eberechi. They are not my children. Like I promised, I have stolen the pot from the abode of Ntalaku in the spirit world and I have handed over to your people, Achike. And now, the ritual that will make Eberechi a taboo in Umwele for the rest of her life is about to be accomplished. As you know, if the pot 
had failed to appear. It will have proven to them, there and then, that she is innocent. And that will have rendered every of your efforts useless. Uh, uh, but, <clears throat> wise one, um, you mean uh, the gods did not do anything when you got to them to steal the pot? Even the gods sleep, my son. Ntalaku was asleep when I got there. Mind you, the gods may be silent sometimes. But one thing they abhor so much is injustice. Ntalaku will be angry when she wakes up because of what happened. For Eberechi is one of her daughters. And her daughters she protects fiercely. She will definitely fight back. And that she will do with all the gods of Umwele. When the battle will start, I cannot tell. But when it does, all of you involved in this and many others will be consumed within minutes. The only thing that will save your life is the Akadike in your hands. Do whatever you must to get it for your own good. Go. 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 Why is that good? What is it? What no, 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 please, 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 no, 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 ah! pulled it off successfully. Very good. Beautiful. So when did he say Eberechi would do as he controlled her to do when the ritual is over? Uh, he didn't say... Oh, oh. Uh, Ezuma, mm. thank you very much for... for... Eh? He said thank you. Uh, mba, 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 mba. I didn't do what I did to be thanked to. I did it for a fee. Mba, 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 mba. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me. <laughs> Relax yourself. Imagine the way you rose up like it. It's alright. Eh, Achige. Eh? Give it to him. Ah, okay. Nyem, nyem, nyem. Eh, okay. Nyem, nyem. Until I am happily settled with Uwakwe as his wife. Forget it. I, you see, many are going to die, including all of us here. If you do not release the Akadike to him, that was exact word from Ume. Try something else. You won't bring me down with your cheap lies. I am not going to succumb to that. In fact, I am out of here. Thank you. 
from me. You wish to just let me be. Uh, 
You left here before daybreak to go make inquiries from Ume about why Eberechi didn't come to this place as he said she would come. Had she killed herself? Ume? Ume is dead. Ume is dead. I saw his corpse. I saw his corpse when I went to the shrine. When I went to the... Mother, the place was, was a scene of full chaos. His tongue was, was sticking out of his mouth. Gods of it, go. They have killed him. Yes. It's only the gods that can kill a man like that. Hi. Gods of our land. This is not happening. What are we going to do now? I don't know. You don't know? Azoka. Eh? No, this is not happening. You lay your cursed hand off me. Tell me, what game are you people playing with me? Game? What? We're not playing any game. We're... Obviously, you take me for a fool. Having secured the Akadike for Achike to solve your own problem. You killed Ume. What? Fool? No, 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 that cannot be true. Okay, uh... that is not true. Okay, after this discussion last night, we waited in vain for your sister to show up. She did not. I went to consult Ume. How could I kill such a powerful Dibia? No, you tell me. Asuka, tell me. I only agreed to be part of this because of the deal we had. The deal that you people will help me destroy my sister's marriage. Get her not only banished from Umelo, but also frustrated that she will come to this place seeking help. And that help we agreed that you only give if she agrees to marry you. Thereby making way for me to become Owakwe's wife before my father returns the bride prize today. Before me, Ume said that she would come to this place yesterday, running and asking for help. Until now, that hasn't happened. Which leaves me wondering if there wasn't any conspiracy against me by all of you. Conspiracy to get Akadike for Achike and frustrate my own plan. Um, Isiako. I swear with my life that that is not the case. Even me too, I, 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 I swear I... Just shut up. Get Eberechi to marry you before midday. 
else I will tell the elders of Umwele land everything I know about you and Achige. Yes, go in search of her if that's what it takes. Midday. No more, no less. any of them. Not even my husband or my parents. Look at me. Look at what they reduced such an innocent girl to. They tore me away from my husband and separated me forever from my own people. Please, please help me. Help you? How? I'm tired. I'm dying of thirst and hunger. I ran away from Umwele village. And having done that, I can no longer return there. I have been to all the neighboring communities, met with several people, but they all drove me away. Please, please, I beg you, I beg you, help me. I don't want to die. Please, I beg you. Those people who drove you away had good reasons for doing so. Anybody who sees you knows that you were banished for an abominable act and no reasonable man would want to have anything to do with someone like you in his family i'm innocent i really did not do what they're accusing me of i'm innocent i swear to you well that is irrelevant now you are a taboo in the land of your birth that is the only reality that matters here you cannot remove that item on your head. If you try it, you will die instantly. Anyone who tries to help you, as a matter of tradition, must have to know that you will spend the rest of your life with him as a matter of tradition. Are you not aware of that? I am. You are. And you chose to come to this place. Are you not also aware that even if these items on your head is removed, you will never have any form of contact or relationship with any indigenous of Umele for the rest of your life? Eh? Okay, if I decide to help you as tradition demands and take you in, what becomes of my marriage with Isiak? Didn't you see the way she ran the moment she saw you? Didn't you see? Don't touch him. Mother, he's my husband. He's dying. He is my only son. He's having epileptic seizure. Epilepsy? I don't understand. Mother, what is going on? I'm sorry we hid everything from you, but I will explain. Explain what? What do you want to explain? That the man I call my husband is epileptic and you hid it? Is that what you want to explain? Mama, listen, this is over. I won't do this again. It is over between your son and I. I won't have anything to do with whoever that comes from this family. Stay away from mine. It's over. It's hey, shut up. Tabu. Excuse me. 
Well, that makes us two people with two big problems. You need someone to take that item off your head and give you a roof over your head for the rest of your life. And I need a maiden who will be my son's wife despite this. Deal? You are a young man my wife and I have come to love and accepted as our son in the last few weeks. When you see us sad, it is not because of the dowry you paid on a parish that you are here to take back. But what giving it back to you means for our relationship from now on. The abomination I believe she committed yesterday has actually robbed us of the children. You walk away. And I believe she, my daughter. You are my son, not just an in law. I wish I have another. I wish is it's not yet given out to another man. I would have given her to you to replace a Bereshi instead of doing what I am about to do now. Oh, God of whom well, eh? Why me? Why me? Why? Avaka. Pull yourself together. Waika, dry up your tears. The feeling that the both of you have just expressed, Miss Moshua. Uwakwe <laughs> here cried all through the night. He cried himself to sleep last night. Not only did he love Ibereshi so deeply, but he also took you as his parents. You know, he lost his parents as a boy. Like you, his loss is immeasurable. And what is about to happen has compounded everything for him. On our way coming to this place, he kept on echoing and repeating exactly what you just said. I wish they had another daughter. I wish Isiaku was not yet married. Why? Why? The gods of our land, why? What could have put my ability into this type of fact? How could I have... How could I have lived with... Uh, Araka, this issue is a spilled oil. Let us get over with it. It is. It is, my brother. It is so work with. Oh. <laughs> There is disaster. What happened? Uh, Azoka's mother just left my house. She said that um, the Birichi ran to their house, 
this morning and stripped herself naked in the open before her and Azoka. Eh? She said that she did it because she wanted Azoka to marry her. You are lying, aren't you? No, no, no I'm not lying. And as we all know, uh, having seen her nakedness in the open, Azoka is forbidden by our custom and tradition from having sex with any woman all his life. Ije, the, 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 the mother, did she say anything about their next plan? Um, um, Azuka and the mother have no other choice than to agree. You know, Azuka is an only son. The problem now is how to disclose the news to Isiako. And uh, as even he can, she cannot even come here. Because she cannot face you. That's why she sent me. Hello. What is keeping them now? Okay. Here you are. It worked. My husband's kinsman who went to your compound told me that Wakwe has accepted to take you in place of your sister as his wife. Seriously? Yeah. So they said I should bring you back home. Oh, precious Wakwe's wife. <laughs> oh, so good to know. Ahem, Azuka, hmm? what about Iberichi? Uh, yes, uh, she just finished taking her bed and was eating her food when we left her to this place. Uh, the sacrifice in the shrine. Did not take time. It didn't take long. At all. Uh, uh, how about your own side? The installation did not take long. We immediately finished with the installation. I have caged the spirit of Ozuma. And my manhood is back. <laughs> I guess everyone is happy because I am happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come and see with your own eyes. Eh? Come and see with yourself. Come on, with your own eyes. Iperichi, how long will you continue like this? For three days now, you have not eaten. You've not slept. You've just been crying. Why? It's about time you forgot about your past and move on. Who are you even mourning? Uwakwe? Uwakwe that does not care about you? Uwakwe that, that joined others to drive you away from the land of your birth like a common dog? Uwakwe that connived with your own parents and replaced you with Isiako? Instead of collecting the bride price he paid on your head. No. You're lying. You're lying, aren't you? She, she, she's not lying. When we went to Umuele to return Isiaku's bride price, we saw him discussing with your parents. We, we never wanted to tell you this. You know, knowing fully well that it will get you devastated if you hear it. So we, we decided to keep it away from you. Yes, my dear. Uwakwe does not deserve you. He does not deserve your tears. He doesn't love you. Why don't you just put the past behind and move on with life? Why don't you embrace those who were empathic enough to bring you in when the whole world rejected you? Azoka and I, are we asking for too much? Of course not. Eh? We are not. Eh? Put a smile on your face. Eh? Give me, give me that acceptance hug. Let's let's live together as husband and wife, and and, and face the future together. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Please. Mama. Mother. Oh, oh, 
J just calm down, son. Just calm down. I've already started seeing positive signs. Positive signs? Positive signs where? Calm down, son. Calm down. Why did we hide it from her these three days? Because we didn't want to tell her and she would run away. Now that she's aware of it, where did she run to? Our own house. Of all places. What does that tell you? Time, my son. Time. Time heals all wounds. Patience. There is no storm patience or time cannot weather. Be patient. Come with me. What are you doing here? Who, who showed you the road to our farm? I asked around. You asked around? Why? I mean, what happened? That you couldn't wait for, for us to return? Nothing. Nothing happened. Just that while I was in the house, I had serious thoughts about my life. My past, my present, my future. Then I made a decision. You made a decision? <sighs> About what? About... About us. I have decided to forget my sorrows, as you and mother advised. I will accept you wholeheartedly, as my husband. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it took me this long to do that, despite you people's good deeds towards me that saved my life. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, mother. again this night. I thought you said you've accepted me as your husband four days ago. Why are you still denying me my entitlement as your husband? Is, is there anything I need to know? No. But honestly, the news you gave me about my sister, the day you came back from the farm, threw me off balance emotionally. What news? Oh, oh. Oh, the news about this year can work with traditional wedding next week. <coughs> yes. Please, my dear. I want you to understand how traumatic everything is to me. And doing anything that requires deep emotion, like what you want to do now, 
will be very difficult for me. Please, if you really have respect for me as your wife, then let's wait a little. Maybe till after their wedding. Eh? After your sister's wedding to your former husband? I, I, I don't get it. I don't. Azoka, I have now accepted the reality of my situation. But somehow, some part of me still lingers with Owakwe. And the only way that can be stopped is if he finally gets married to my sister. So please, I beg you, just wait. Be patient. And I promise, after the wedding, I'll be all yours. Also, the God of pregnancy in our religious tradition. He will obey her if you know something and fail to say before she prays that. Are you confessing or not? Just have to come down on the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! Stop and confess. Hey. Yes. I carefully planned my revenge. I made sure I killed every child the British mother had a favorite before they were three months. Yes, I killed. I, I, I tried to kill a British but it didn't work out. Even when they caught her, it is cassava the shrine. I planted it. I planted it with chukudi. Hey, 
Love you. Check if she's inside. She's not inside. I didn't find her inside. Ebere Echi! Ebere! Ebere Echi! Ebere! Ebere Echi! Ebere Echi! Ebere! Ebere Echi! Ebere! System! So what? Why? What did you do? What did eh? you do? Again. What is it? Again. Let's go. Go to where? Go to go where? Move, move, move to where? Let's go. Move. What happened? Go to where? Go to where? Move. move. What move. did you do? Wait a minute. Go where? What? Move to where? What did you do? Don't. What? Move. Leave me. Let's go. Move. What did you do? A week after what happened, you're still brooding about it. I'm sorry. But no matter how hard I try, I just can't get over it. Despite everything, Isiako was still my sister. My own blood. How could she? How could she allow envy to lead her into such evil league and conspiracy? How could she get herself involved in something that made us suffer such disgraceful fate? Imagine my own sister hanged in the evil forest, left alone to rot away, dangling on a rope like a common animal.